Hey guys, it's Teletopia here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. And yep, today we're gonna be doing another shenanigans video yet again. <laughs> it's been a while since I made shenanigans videos like this. <laughs> this time is gonna be about smartphones. So this, my friends, is the Lenovo A6000. So basically, this is my dad's old phone. He let me have this since he bought an Oppo A5 2020, which I already did an unboxing video of it. I have fun up here. Anyway, after transferring some of his stuff onto his new phone, including contacts as well as some of his pictures, I now have this phone in my possession. Anyway, what I don't like about this thing is that nowadays, KitKat is kind of dated. So I'm gonna show you what Android version we have on this thing. Ah, uh, come on! Let me go to about phone, please. Shoot. And as you can see, this is Lenovo A6000. Android version is 4.4.4 KitKat. Honestly, I do really like Android 4.4 KitKat Easter Egg because it looks so colorful and it even has some sweets on the colorful tiles. That's very, really cool. I prefer KitKat Easter Egg more than Android 10 Easter Egg, which looks so boring now. <laughs> because Google decided to ditch the desert's name. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. But I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some custom shenanigans. So here we go. All right, I am on my laptop and... Do I have fast food on there? Guess I have to download fast food then. All right, we got the... ADB installer, so let's try and see if version 1.4.3 actually downloads. There we go. And it's taking a while to download because it's a crap internet. And I'm gonna go ahead and download fast food. Oh yeah, I searched for Realme XT by the way. And Mi 9 Lite as well. And a Redmi Note A2. <laughs> This one right here. Alright, 15 second ADB installer. You want to install ADB in fast food? Yes. System white? Yes. Yup. Okay, all done. And let's see if we get fast food on here. Hmm. I don't think so. Yup, for some reason it didn't give me executable. I'm kind of rushed by this. Please wait 5 seconds for the download link to appear below. But it's stuck there, bro. I'm a bit impatient there. Is it because I have app blocker on? Let's just turn it off and reboot. Refresh the page. Ah, oh, there we go. I think it has something to do with the app blocker. It's shaking my head. Let's try to fast boot. Okay, we got fast food ready to go, and let's grab a ROM and twerp. Alright, time to flash the twerp. I'm gonna go on to settings and go on to about phone and go on to device information. Tap to build number a bunch of times. Okay, where is the pop -up option? There it is. And we're gonna enable USB debugging. Okay. So you don't have to do this step when you're flashing a uh, custom recovery, blah 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 blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the volume up and bleh. I'm gonna hit the volume down and power. And yup, as you can see here, how key long press can reboot phone. So I'm gonna plug it in and let's see if the device is detected. I'm not sure if. This has an unlock bootloader. Oh shoot, I opened up VLC by accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to command prompt. Alright, this is hard to see. So let me move on to OBS real quick. Alright, I'm on my laptop now. Laptop screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and type ADB. No, wrong. Fast food devices. Ah, oh, crap, crap. I forgot to change directory. Fast food device. Aha! I'm gonna grab my AA2018 to record this. So I'm gonna type fast food OEM OEN, damn it. I guess we've done it. 
bootloader. Okay. Fast boot devices. All right. Fast boot flash recovery. And so as you can see, I have the Twerp recovery for the Lenovo A6000 with F2FS support, which is really interesting. So I'm gonna flash it and we're done. And let's see, fast boot, reboot, recovery. Okay, let's see if it boots. I reboot to the system, really? Hold on. Well, using the command did not work out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to recovery and let's see if it boots to twerp. If not, I'll try it again. Well, it boot loops. Great. Great. Okay, well, apparently the new version of twerp doesn't work on KitKat, so I can see why. But I had to flash the KitKat twerp and it works and boots up just fine. And I decided to flash a, a Lollipop ROM which is actually twerp flashable. And it's actually now updated to Android Lollipop. So as you can see here, this is the good old classic. Oh, there's a starter there. Yep, Lollipop. And let's see, tap it now a bunch of times. And... Let's go to default options. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on USB debugging. I'm gonna flash recovery again. Power off the phone. Ah, shoot. And it's not January 2015. <laughs> Jeez. So I'm gonna try to flash recovery again by holding down the volume down and power. Oh, hold on. Down and power. There you go. Plug it in and let's move on to OBS again. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. Flash, I'm gonna type fast boot, flash recovery, reco recovery.img one more time. Okay, I hope it works. I hope it does boot. Hold on the power and then volume keys. Keep holding these keys. I'm gonna keep holding these two volume buttons. Oh. What? Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Well, I guess um, 12 works. I had to hold the volume up and power and then tap recovery and it boots up just fine. So I'm gonna keep the system read only and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe and go to advanced wipe, Dalvik, system, cache, and data, not, uh, not internal storage or micro SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and transfer the ROM in there. Well, time to install it. I'm gonna hit install and pick the ROM that I picked. This is AOS, AOSB extended ROM. And let's just swap confirm flash. Uh oh. Status 7. I'm gonna try reboot recovery. I don't think it reboots the re reboots to recovery that way. That phone is weird sometimes. Alright, I think I made a copy of AOSB extended ROM. For Lenovo A6000, this is the device specific ROM. I, I edited the updated script on zip, and I have I have to start one for backup purposes. But yeah, I'm gonna try again and confirm to flash. Nice. I think we're flashing. <laughs> I think I can snap like this. That's an epic fail. Hey, there we go. I think the- Oh god, that's Despacito done! Okay, now we're done. Uh, and, um, 
gonna try one of the open GFs. So I'm gonna try arm first. I guess first try. All right, GFs are installed. Let's reboot. Do not install. Let's see if it boots. Be back in a bit. <laughs> After I booted up to AOSP Extended ROM, this is what happened. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, time to change the ROM then. Alright, so I decided to put Lineage OS this time, and I'm sorry, I don't have have a tripod I feel like I'm lazy to put it on a tripod <laughs> anyway and yep it booted up and I'm gonna wait till it fully boots hey guys future TTO here and upon further inspection and looking at the last two pages on the AOSB extended ROM on XDA and I see this comment warning don't flash version 6.7 I flashed version 6.7 earlier in the day before I had to change your Lineage OS and not only me got that issue but this guy as well thank you Michael 3 to help for addressing this before I even realized that but developers are aware of that issue hopefully they'll fix it on version 6.8 I might stick with Lineage OS 16 until there's a stable beta AOSB ROM for this thing so yeah Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I changed the splash screen to something different, which I actually made by myself. So, I'm gonna check it out. And as you can see, we got the new Lenovo logo. We have an old Lenovo logo on the top, but we have a new Lenovo logo on the splash screen. And we have a new Power by Android logo. I think my new splash screen actually looks more modern somehow <laughs> despite that this phone is from 2015 so yeah back to the past TTO well I think I'm done with the custom ROM shenanigans so oh hold on well I guess the custom ROM shenanigans on this phone is finally over I finally managed to get Android 9.0 Pi ROM installed working properly presumably let's jump to settings and go on to about phone give me a second yeah as you see we have android 9 pi would you look at that we have a hypnotizing easter egg <laughs> Ooh. and yes this is the unofficial build of Li lineage os <laughs> when i look at the sda forum it says it has f2fs to support but i don't think there is on mine maybe mine is a bit slower than before i don't know but Otherwise, here it is, my Lenovo A6000 now up and running. So, what apps do I have here? I have Discord, I have Gboard, and I have Firefox, which is my main browser. And another one, we have Pixiv, which I use to browse some fan arts or something. And we have SoundCloud, and we have Spotify Lite, we have Twitter, and of course, yeah, you guessed it, YouTube Vans. So yeah, that's gonna be about it for the custom ROM shenanigans on the Lenovo A6000. I would like to thank you all for watching and be sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out new videos like this. There, 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 there. Sorry for the bad effort stuff. <laughs> anyway, with that out of the way, the Tailtaku signing out. Peace out. Yeah.